with Pete Moore. Welcome to Gunmark TV. This is what I would call the quintessential Speedmaster. So let's look a little bit closer at what is, as I said before, really the signature product from Southern Gun Co. You can see here the receiver looks a little bit different. The lower, uh, Bob now makes all his own uppers and lowers. And the lower, I believe, is called the Mark V. And it's got a fuller and heavier sort of magwell with gripping surfaces there. Uh, the upper is standard. It's heavy walled offers ambidextrous cocking as we shall see and has an integral Picatinny rail because it's so strong he can afford to slot both sides of the receiver to have ambidextrous operation. The butt is PRS precision rifle stock from Magpul this is the latest one and you have adjustment for comb height and length of pull via these wheels. The butt pad can also be angled slightly left and right if you need to for a good shoulder adhesion. The pistol grip this is old school this is the Hogue so your finger groove pistol grip they put in the first Speedmasters. They have a fill-in piece at the back to give you a better hand position. Operation on the right side is by this dog leg handle. As the name says, it's a straight pull. So basically, you pull it back, slams forward, chamber's ready to fire. Uh, on a straight pull rifle, you don't baby it. You don't sort of go, you just pull back and let it go because it needs the energy of the spring and the bolt to shut the breech and lock it properly. Trigger wise, usually these guns come out of the box with what I would call an average military style trigger. This one is very different. Got a straight blade, which sits quite nicely. And there's a little add on a pad, which is quite cool. I've never seen one before. Basically, it clips on and moves up and down the blade to give you a good position. But what I did find is that there's a tiny bit of take up and probably a two and a half pound smooth, reasonably crisp brake, for which for an AR is pretty good. Looking from the left side, it's all pretty much standard AR. You've got a two position safety catch here, flips up for fire, forward for safe, quite well positioned. Uh, this one hasn't got an ambi, but that's an option from Southern Gun as well, and I, I quite like ambi uh, safety as my Speedmaster. The under the control here is a bolt release and bolt hold open manual. If you want to hold the bolt open, pull the action open, hold it open, press the button to catch in, and it's open. And if you want to uh, <coughs> shut it, just press the button. It's quite good for a mag, uh, a mag change because you can actually, the hand that holds the magazine comes in, pushes it up, and then presses that button, and it's quite quick and instinctive. As I said, this is an ambidextrous rifle, and on this, on this side is the cocking slide. It's very similar to an SLR cocking slide because it folds down. Basically, it's the same thing. This goes back. And you let it go forward. Um, this is really great for prone shooting off a bipod because you can hold a gun in your right hand and operate, operate this with your left hand if you're a right hander. And if you're a left hooker, then it just gives you a handle so you can use the gun reasonably well from the shoulder or however you want to use it. The heart of any good rifle is, is the barrel. And here that uh, SGC don't sell as short. This is a 20 inch heavyweight, almost an inch diameter tube, stainless steel, fully fluted. As you can see, not little casual flutes that some people do, but proper significant flutes. Um, it's a one and eight twist, so you can shoot sort of bullets from 55 up to sort of 75. Uh, it comes threaded, and this has a rather large muzzle brake. The barrel is free float, as you can see. This is his own design end, and it's quite unusual because it's removable. I won't do it because obviously the bipod's on it, but you pull that lever back, which unlocks, and you pull this pin down, and then the whole four just slides forward. They're quite light, as you can see, and also they come in two sections. This is the longest one, but you can take these one, two, four screws out, and this front section comes off just with a little bit less handguard. The rifle comes from a box with a 20 round Colt style mag. I mean, if I was using this for varminting or longer range shooting, I'd have a 10 because they fit quite flush, as you can see. All drop out as you press the button. When, when the rifle fires, empty. The last round just locks it open. So you press the mag button, the mag comes out, you put a new mag in, and if it's full, then you can press the bolt release, which I've shown on the other side of the gun, like so, and it's ready to rock and roll. In terms of, uh, shall we say, extras, Bob's fitted a Versapod bipod. These things are QD by that lever there. This little block has a spigot on the end. You can move it backwards and forwards along the rail. It's also 
cant adjustable and lockable for cant and you get a little bit of travis on it as well again lockable and the legs are sprung loaded like a harris you just press the catches at the bottom and they shoot out to suit okay just to look at the cocking system in a little bit more detail this is the right hand cocker in action there's no magazine in the gun so i just wanted to cycle we're not shooting we're just showing how it works but it's up in the shoulder you fight fire your first shot pull back release like so and uh, from my experience these guns have got well cut chambers and they don't suffer too much from uh, primary extraction issues where the case gets too swelled or too hot and doesn't come out fast enough which can cause a jam okay let's move to the left hand cocker this is really more for bipod work so you flick the lever out like so unlike the right hand one for right hand you don't have to let go of the pistol grip when when you need to recycle the gun so basically you shoot, boom, pull back, release, pull back, release. Like so. And believe you me, an ambidextrous straight pull is a very attractive option. Ammunition wise, decided to go for two more match style loadings, both from PPU, Privy Partisan. There's a 69 grain boat tape hollow point match and the same bullet configuration hollow point boat tail match in a 75 grain those two weights seem to pretty much uh, encompass what a 1 in 8 twist rifle of this type would like to eat uh, actually it's been pretty good um, both rounds are hitting the half inch with maybe the uh, 75 just acing it a little bit given i can shoot straight but um so both are pretty damn good for what they are and they'll hold up well in the match. Okay, just let's see this cycling a few rounds through it. I'm using a 10 round mag. Nice and compact as we know. So that's Southern Gun Co's traditional sort of heavy barrel Speedmaster. Nice rifle, do a lot with it. You can shoot precision with it. The rifle and twist is enough to push out heavily 75 and 69 grain bullets to distance and shoot tight groups. Or if you want to, you can use a posh Foxer or even a posh Varminter. The gun does it all really. Um, basically every gun is custom built to what you want. Uh, SGC have a like a gun builder sheet, you fill it in you agree it and they build it for you. This has semi-custom features, as I've said. PRS stock, uh, the removable forend, uh, bits and pieces, muzzle brake. Uh, but the basic rifle, regardless, is one hell of a shooter in 223 if you want a straight pull. There's not much to beat it. Well, as always, that was a load of fun. I love shooting Speedmasters. Excellent rifle. So, if you like what you saw, comment. If you don't, comment. Don't care. It's your view. Uh, support the site. Tell your friends. And uh, if you want anything more from me, if I can get it for you, then uh, it's pmall.shootingsports at gmail.com. Until then, good and safe shooting.